would I buy this handbag again? I can happily announce that I don't think that this bag is a bag that sags. I would never wear it in cop. Like, never. Hello everyone! So in today's video I'm doing a one year review of my Chanel Trendy CC bag which it's actually more than a year. I got it in March 2020 and I'm telling you what I think more than a year after it, after buying it and if I would buy it again. So I did a review like very shortly after getting this bag and since then I've used it a lot and yes so let me tell you what I think about it so first of all the price when I bought this bag was 5,000 Swiss francs which is about 5,000 US dollars and like it was about 4,300 euros at the time and now it's 5,000 euros and 6,200 US dollars so the price increased on the Chanel Trendy CC as well you might have seen like the Chanel price increases. I think there were like three price increases since I got this bag and the trendy wasn't involved in all of those price increases, but in I think one or two of them. So therefore the price increased. Um, but still, all the other price increased as well. So like the ratio, how much trendy is in compar comparison to the other one stayed about the same. Then about the bag itself. I got it in this fuchsia color, as you can see, with the gold hardware. And it's lambskin leather, as all um, of the Chanel Trendies are. Like the Chanel Trendies, they only come in lambskin leather. So those are like the rough informations about the bag that I got. And now, when I'm, talk I'm talking a little bit about the wear and tear of this handbag. So I did use this handbag quite a lot, but I have to say, I did baby this handbag a little bit and I usually say that I do not baby my handbags but this handbag I found that it's it's super delicate so the lambskin leather on this handbag is very very delicate it has one scratch one little scratch somewhere like here you can't even see it that well you can a little bit like a one you can't really see it on the camera but as you can see it actually looks quite good like also here it still looks quite new it doesn't have a lot of sagging like no sagging at all which i appreciate but you have to be careful like this one little little um scratch come just came from my fingernail and i do own like i think two other um chanel bags classic bags with lambskin but they are vintage and the lambskin leather there is way more durable than the lambskin leather here so I think this one is like a really delicate lambskin leather even though the sales associate told me when I bought it that the lambskin leather on the trendy is not as delicate but I have to say it actually I think it actually is very very delicate like very very delicate so keep that in mind and that's also the reason why I don't use this bag like everywhere. I use this bag for example when I go shopping but not if I would go shopping somewhere that's crowded. I would never wear this bag somewhere that it's crowded like seriously never and I use this bag for dinners for example because it has quite a good size. I will show you later how it looks on my body how tall it is um, so you could use it for dinner very good. I would never use this handbag to travel, never. And it's like probably the only handbag that I would not take um, on a plane with me. And I would also never pack this handbag, like never. Because I would be scared how it would look if I were, if I were to unpack it. And then the hardware. Um, I have to say, I haven't even um, taken off like the the little sticker on top there. I haven't taken it off because I saw it here that the, the hardware, you can see it still looks good. But you can also see that it's not that it's not the same kind of quality than the older Chanel handbags have. Like it's 
a lot it's a more delicate hardware and I think that probably it would it will rub off more easily with time and that's why I'm like ultra careful with that as well also I found that the hardware here is a lot more shiny and for my liking it's actually a little bit too shiny and the good thing with you have the sticker on it makes it a little bit more matte so that's the reason why I um, still have it on there as well but I have to say that I I just have to take it off because I recently heard that it's not good actually for the hardware if you leave the stickers on for too long so I could probably just take it off with you now a lot of people find it oddly satisfying and I myself come I count myself in this category category as well so let me just it's actually hard so okay let me just show you Da -da -dum. Da -da -dum. Okay. So okay, okay. It has it has more parts. It's like that. As you can see, it's super shiny, but luckily, luckily there is no discoloration on there now. But yes, I will keep you updated how the hardware is like is now when the sticker is off. But yeah, like I told you, it's um, the quality is worse than with water Chanel handbags, but <laughs> super shiny. You can see my camera here, and but you can see. It's not a bad quality like I used this handbag I really use it just baby it and but with my usage like I don't have a lot of scratches so that's good so it's not like you wear it once and the bag is ruined but you just have to be a little bit more careful with this handbag so to summarize the wear and tear of the leather and the hardware very delicate lambskin leather not as good quality as the vintage ones so you have to um, look for like that you don't go near it with sharp nails you wouldn't wear it in a crowd because if someone were to go against it like with a zipper or something like that there would be a scratch then the sagging of the handbag does it sag and i have to i can happily announce that i don't think that this bag is a bag that sags super easily because as you can look like i was very scared that those pockets will look like um, after a while but they really don't like they really kept their shape and I also think like the free pocket system is very good um, that the bag keeps its shape because usually lambskin bags do not hold their shape as good as caviar bags and I think that's actually a genius system that the bag holds its shape even better and then also the chain here as you can see Oh, I probably have to put my hand on there. You can see the chain here still looks very good as well. Also, the shoulder strap is super comfortable because it has this leather part here, so you don't have to put like the chain on your shoulder, which you have to do with other Chanel handbags, like with the classic ones, which can be quite uncomfortable. So the bag is super comfortable itself. Then, if you open it, because probably if you haven't seen my other video then I'll just show you some things at the back here's the back pocket you could put a phone in there but like only half of the phone fits and I would be scared that it falls out but you could like put like a receipt in there like your parking ticket I sometimes do that because then I don't have to look for it in my bag Then if you open it you have those three compartments see my but I never use the back compartment there is also a zipper but I only have like your, I only have the authenticity card in there. But I never use like the back compartment because it's very like narrow. Like you can't really fit a lot of stuff in there. I always mainly use the um, middle compartment. It does fit an iPad Mini, which is great. So you can put an iPad Mini with you, so you can read and train something like that. And in the front there, there are also like as you can see, two three little compartments there where you could put stuff 
in there which is also very very great and also the back closure is like the normal closure like that so super easy to get in the back and take stuff out and it's also very secure because as you can see like no one can put like their hand in there without you noticing it so it's a very secure bag so actually therefore I would actually love to take it to, um, when I go traveling in a city because then I usually want a very secure bag and this handbag definitely is super secure also what I absolutely love about the handbag is like the top handle I'm a top handle girl. I love some super classic handbags that you can just wear in the crotch of your arm. I think those are just, I think they are just so pretty. And the best thing about this handbag is that you can not only wear it in the crotch of your arm, but you can also wear it on your shoulder. And you can also wear it cross body because the chain, at least for me, is long enough to wear it cross body. And now I'll just quickly show you um, how the bag looks on me. Okay, if I wear it in the crotch of my arm, See, like that, perfect size for me. I'm five foot five for reference. And if I wear it on my shoulder, it like hits my bum. It's for me like the perfect, um, like it's perfect. It's like the perfect place where it hits me. Obviously, if you're taller or shorter, it would hit you at a different spot. But for me, like I'm average height and that's perfect for me. And then if I wear a cross body, it's a little bit more there but I think also super comfortable and also like the top handle it doesn't get in your way at all so this is a very good thing you can wear it in super numerous ways and that's also one of the main positives of the handbag like it's firstly its look like the look of the handbag is super pretty and secondly you can wear it to so many different occasions you can wear it like more casually you can wear it more like um, dressy for the evening and also what you could do if you open the bag you can see here you can just do it like that like take the chains in there I will just show you how it looks like then and you just have like the top handle here or you could even if you look there I think they have different ones like mine is with those little things here and you could just also deattach it like put it out there so you could take the strap off entirely which I never would because I love the option to have a crossbody and if I want to just hold it on the top handle I just take the strap in as I've shown you before so there are very numerous ways of wearing this handbag then for like um, when to wear the handbag as I said I think it's um, very versatile I would never wear it in a club like never in a club never in crowded places and probably not for a black tie event or something like that and never in the rain so other than that this bag goes with probably like every occasion you could go to and also the bag is a stunner itself like the design is so pretty and I get so many compliments wearing this bag it's like insane I think this bag, the Dior book tote and like the Lady Dior, like the metallic one, those are like by far the handbags that I get most compliments of. And yeah, another thing about the trendy that I like very much is that they always do super pretty seasonal colors and also you don't see it as often as probably a classic flap, so it's a little bit more special. And yeah, those are like the top tops for me. Also a top, it keeps its shape very good. Um, it has enough space to put your basic needs in there, but keep in mind it's not a roomy bag So you could not take a water bottle with you or something like that. It's just like the very necessities And um, like the Dior, Lady Dior bag has a lot more space in there than the Chanel um, Trendy CC and the negatives about the handbag are obviously the very delicate leather like the lambskin leather is super delicate and also I think the hardware is not like the most like the best quality hardware that is on a handbag for me it's a little bit too shiny I would prefer it to be a little bit less shiny because it looks kind of nearly a little bit fake tacky um, but yes that's just my opinion and some people really like that and this was my one year catch-up roundup of the Chanel handbag and now the question of the questions. Would I buy this handbag again? The answer is yes, I probably would. But 
um, when I went to buy the Chanel Trendy CC, I was actually going to buy um, the Chanel Classic Flap in the caviar in beige and this didn't have it. And I actually still think that I would have probably gotten more wear out of the caviar one because it is way more durable and also considering like the price increases that followed it would have probably been a better decision to buy caviar but they didn't have it so I didn't even have the option to buy it on this day and what it was last day before lockdown so I'm in retrospective very happy that I bought the bag and also like i've only seen one other person having this bag and like in this exact color so it's a special bag and i'm always on the hunt for special bags and that's probably the thing i look most in handbags that they are special and a chanel classic flap in a caviar wouldn't be as special but it's still on my wish list because I think it's just a classic bag to have. But yes, this is my one year roundup. Yes, I would buy the bag again, but keep in mind, super delicate bag. But yeah, if you have any other questions about this handbag, about any other handbag, or just about something that just came into your mind, leave it in the comments down below. Also, you could check out my first impression like my first review when i just had the handbag for like one two months and yes if you haven't subscribed already subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye, -bye.